This poem is about a Chinese restaurant. On, it used to be on Los Feliz. Um, Chinese Lantern. There was only one place we ever ate Chinese, Lin's, on Los Feliz. My grandfather ruling the table with the same almond chicken, egg foo young, little saucers of hot mustard. In the ceiling, they'd mounted a Chinese lantern with red tassels, a kind of three-story castle clinging upside down to the roof of heaven. Depending where we sat, my sisters and I could watch lit scenes in each castle wall, a maiden crossing a footbridge over a marsh, peach trees in blossom, two birds on a branch leaning toward one another, a river tumbling like raw silk through a gorge. I always wanted to watch the birds, wanted only the maroon booth in the back, not the ebony chairs. And so did my cousin Deidre, who wore plum-colored lipstick and teased her hair. They're love doves, she whispered from the high throne of high school, ginger and garlic rousing my mouth. The next time we saw her there, months later, Deidre was sway-backed and swag-billied, her eyes sad and defiant at once, hand pressed to the small of her back, a silver moon pendant shining between mountains of bosom. She watched the lovebirds and didn't say anything. I can see it now, my mother's face twisting a wind that scatters all words. Deidre's wet eyes and the birds leaning in, quiet after the tumult of love. That night, I felt a bird enter and sink down through me, the bird that is thirst, the bird that could drink an ocean and not be quenched, because thirst is both wanting and water, and water doesn't want to stop. Water wants to let it happen, the way Deidre let it happen, deliberately, one step after another, crossing a bridge, her eyes glassy with knowledge, and so quiet afterwards. I saw what she'd been looking at all that time, the wings of two birds going so fast, a blur of stillness, water roaring through a gorge, each droplet's great quiet flight. Silence, like when your mother calls out, her voice dark with suspicion, what are you doing in there? And you answer, nothing, 